All right. So I was going over the colors of these fretboards. Yeah, so this is a really good chart. It's chart number, chart number 94. Two chord arpeggios using the cage string intervals. That means pretty much here's the two chord arpeggios, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian. And remember about arpeggios, when you do an arpeggio, you got root right there, then you got first inversion, then you got second inversion. So that's all it is on guitar. Is it first inversion, second inversion, or third inversion, right? So, if you start one of these things, you go... Like that. It's all three inversions in, in F there. That's wonderful. Let's see what else we got today. Okay, we're back and we're looking at a new chart here. This is 107. I want to show you guys <coughs> something really cool and that is how you can use this chart to like play stuff so let's say you know you got your major cages here E shape D shape C shape A shape G shape E shape would start on root right so it would be and then D shape would start on the second Know, two three five six root and then C shape would start on the third three five six root two and then a shape would start on the fifth there all right and G shape would start on the sixth okay so that's what caged is is pentatonic inversions that go up to uh, two octaves here's the here's the first octave to the root it goes up to the second and one or two notes up to that D there so that the this is the cage and and remember this is like a fretboard this is like a guitar but it's segmented and because it's caged you have overlap but where there's no overlap is between E and C and C and G. See, E ends at the 2 here, right? E ends at the 2 here. And C picks it up at the 3. And in between E and C, there's the missing fret. It, the dead fret. You know, the, the uh, all black keys fret. You know? it's the missing fret now it is a magic fret for the key of G flat so there's you know fine there's nothing wrong with the fret it's just it's there's all black notes there that would be right here and my guitar, you see how there's just those long, thin things? Those are the, the, the hook feet of the, of the uh, piano keys. But this is an all-black fret, all-black key fret. I've done guitar grids with just black notes there. But it's more fun to put, it's easier to put them together if you see the little leading foot on them. Perhaps it's a little easier to look at it like this. You just, you just kind of look at it like it, they look like piano keys right so the the old black key fret is right way down here as you can see it's all black keys this is weird but you see it and then the only colored things are really from the surrounding keys and those are like the, the hook feet of the piano notes so in between C and 
E and G, uh, E and C, in between two and three, we have it all right here. Here's our missing fret. I'll show you what I can do with this. It'd just be, it just be invert the colors, right? Invert the colors. Hello, invert the colors. Convert to grayscale, uh, negative invert image. Right there. It's a little harder to do. It's easier to do when, on the paint program I make the, the charts with. So that would be the missing fret. <coughs> but in between two and three, we don't have any sharing between E and C, and that's the magic circle. All right, that's the magic circle. The magic circle goes, goes like E, C. It's the tuning fret, so it goes uh, E, C, G, D, A, E. It's like a mat. It's like the tuning fret of the sixth here. So this is the magic fret. This is the magic circle. You see how root goes to three there? That's a major third, but every other string interval is a fourth. So that's the magic fret. So C is next to A in the cage system, C cage, C A G. But in the magic fret, the C fret, which would be root, okay? Remember, this is, we're gonna use these letters. So C, a, a pentatonic scale in the key of C, C is the root. Root goes to three. I forgot what I was talking about here. You know, in caged, we'd have this overlap here because they're overlap. But with the magic circle and the magic fret, C and G don't share any notes. Okay, so that's just, it's just like a guitar fretboard. That's not what I wanted to show you. What I want to show you is how easy it is to navigate <coughs> on this chart and to use the chart to play things. So here is our basic setup. This, this is almost like a guitar. We've got this guitar here. Let, let's just invert the image there. We'll have some fun with this. So that's our guitar you know it looks like a guitar neck now right but these are also guitars these are also guitars these are also guitars so that the E and the C shape are actually next to each other and the D and the A shape are actually next to each other but the E and the D shape are shared like this they share notes so you can look at it when you go down this way it's a pentatonic scale just like do re mi fa so la ti do right it's just that it that the e is going to start root on the e shape root see that er right there er it means an e shaped root then we go up from e to the g it goes up as a pentatonic scale, not as a diatonic scale, but you'll see it is a diatonic scale. Because remember, it's going to be... So we've got, here's root, here's G, and then we're going up that scale, right? But this is G shape, so we're starting on the E shape there. The root, even though it's the root, we're starting on the E shape. So E shape in a pentatonic scale. Remember, see, see, see here it says pentatonic. Is G is the next, and you just flavor it with a minor. And after G in a pentatonic scale comes A, flavor it with a minor. But I also have the relative majors labeled here too. And now it, we have our regular A A. G, G here, which is in the same cage. So we have an A minor in, in the same cage, 3, 5, 7. Here's our 7, 3, 5 right